Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy John from the Gamer Duo here. Welcoming you back to another episode of the Pokemon White 2 Randomized Nose Lock. And I hope you guys have had a great day. I turned down the microphone a little bit more. Hopefully that will help compensate all of the ear rape that was literally going on in the last couple episodes. I, like I said, greatly apologize for that. Thank you for making Charizard for letting me know that things were going on because i would have not fixed it otherwise because you know i record 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 try to get the series going out on time every day anyway with that being said we have a fight against our boy drayden today so we got a little bit of a scary episode not gonna lie i am very very scared and i know i shouldn't be because like you know you're going against drayden and you know it's like it shouldn't be that big of a like freak out is it really i'm like turning it down and it's still not doing anything okay there we go i finally decided that at negative 12.2 decibels that it was gonna be okay i should just just turn down the gain and everything that might be a smart idea but i feel like i literally just did that and like it's kind of funny that you know like i need the mic not to pick up half of the things i say which is weird okay anyway let's get to the episode let's get a quick team recap going as we did lose them all in last episode yay so I trained all my mods up to level 54 because Drayden's going to be level 55. So it gives us room for experience as we have a Biggers the God of War still alive. Biggers told me himself that he has not had a mod that's lasted all the way. Well, we're going to make this God of War last all the way if it's our last mission. Uh, with Silverwind, Heal Order, Extra Sensory, and Work Up. Tried to learn Confusion during grinding. Uh, nah, -uh. we have Extra Sensory. Then we've got Kevin with the choice band which we're gonna have to take off because we can actually give you the choice specs now uh with night slash water spout surf and pedal dance we got blue with the super saiyan blue lucario with sacred sword meteor mash wake up slap and mirror shot we got capson with venishock rolling kick coil and fire punch we got dream with acid blue flare v create and wig attack and lastly we got joy with Skull Blash, Blizzard, Water Pulse, and Haze, the Wall Rain. Like I said, I didn't actually think I'd be using Wall Rain, but unfortunately, this game has finally given me a Wall Rain. And unlike, you know, Dylan and Frank, I don't have Oreos next to my desk, so I can't eat my depression of using a Wall Rain. So that's unfortunate. Anyway, if you haven't checked out TVT UK Log, obviously go check it out. It's I'm sure everybody already knows about it, but you know what? If you don't, just go over there. Dylan, Frank, everybody doing stuff. Um, but obviously, we got to give the choice specs to our Milotic because, you know, bulky offensive. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy we got Milotic. Like, I shouldn't be as happy as I am that we got Milotic, but, like, honestly, Milotic is just, whew, we're lucky. Um, but we're going to a gym, which is going to be very scary. Oh my god, I remember this music. Now, you guys can hear it, hopefully. Thank goodness. Yeah, you can hear it. Oh my god. Like, oh, I remember when this was the 8th gym leader, and it just made it more chilling and more like, holy crap, we're here, and... Honestly, that's kind of how I feel. It's a lot of a holy crap we're here moment, especially after the way that this soul link or this uh really just did not start the way that we were anticipating as are we actually not able to Oh no, okay. We we can we can take the slot. Like I am very very nervous. I'm nerve-wracked as all can be. As all of the trainers in his gym are veteran trainers, which is going to make that just that much better as the we're fighting a Stunfisk to start. Okay, what a weird episode. What a weird way to start an episode. Just fighting a Stunfisk for no apparent reason. Um, We actually, Stunfisk is not a mod that we want to be taking on very lightly because, yeah, oh, okay. Like, I didn't expect that to be. Oh, it's got, it's got EQ. It's got EQ, guys. What the hell? Wow, okay, we are... We're gonna have to go into Joy. Actually, no, Kevin or Kevin can go in there. I was like, why are we going into Joy? Joy and Kevin are both bulky water types. My favorite. I'm 
my favorite type of water types. Just the bulky waters that I don't have to stand or worry about. As we are going to go ahead and surf the thing to death because we can do that. The beauty of being able to surf things to death. I was gonna, I was gonna say if that didn't kill, <laughs> we critted to top it off. Okay, that crit might, it should not have mattered, but like if it did, that'd be kind of sad because we're literally choice specs for a reason. Oh, now I can hit the triangle to the left, or the. Oh. My God, this is like, it's, again, it's so surreal because after the way that this log is just turned out so far i never really expected us to really be here i expected there to be more issues and with the way that it's going so far it's like it's very it's very unnerving oh that's a nine tail so we can you know i've gotten to the point where like Beers really should not be the lead of the team. Like, honestly, I always have to switch out because Beers literally can't take on anything in this game. And it's like, oh boy. Uh, wish. Wish ain't a problem. Honestly, we can surf this thing to death and it's a, we, we got it handled. But anyway, how has your guys' day been? Hopefully it's been fantastic. Mine's been pretty well. Uh, we figured out how to record more stuff with the Switch. So that was awesome. Venusaur, that's not very awesome, but we're gonna go into dream. Um, so that's always great. We can uh, figure out stuff, figure out stuff, so more stuff with the switch, like figuring out more mic issues and what's going on with the mic so that I don't have to worry about mic BS. Because on the good computer, the mic doesn't, I don't freak out about the mic as much. And luckily, lately, since I fixed the microphones the way that it works like the sound quality and everything it's sounding very nice hopefully and i turned down the decibelage so that it's not like me screaming in your ear when i'm talking like normally because like again this is about the normal speed that i talk maybe i'm doing a little louder because i have the game in my ear so i need to hear what i'm saying actually i can guarantee that it's louder because i need to hear what i'm saying because i got the game in my ear but anyway that venus was dead um but yeah so like i don't know hopefully it's been well and hopefully you guys having a good day. Oh no. That's not good. <laughs> oh no, we have a four. Welcome to more four triple battles, y'all. Okay, so one fights in triples. The one on the right fights a triple battle, and the one on the left fights a rotation battle. Honestly, I trust the rotation battle. But the problem is, is I can't switch on a rot Oh, Jesus. Okay, first off, my team for the rotation battle. If I'm going to do a rotation battle, this would be my team. Whereas a triple battle might seem would be completely different because I don't want as many weaknesses as I can. Uh, I'm trusting the rotation battle. I, I can't believe, again, I cannot believe they're forcing you into these awkward battles. These are like the battles that have been killing me the entire like game. So I'm glad I'm choosing the rotation battle as she, she's got a Walrein, Garchomp, and a Luxray. Holy crap, dude. This girl out here, she's like, let me just get my Luxray, my, I gotta get my Karai, I gotta get my Cynthia. Jesus. I was, ooh. Ooh, a Fusion Bolt Garchomp. Are you serious? Okay, that did nothing for some reason. I thought that would do way more, but I guess it didn't. That did nothing to the Garchomp either. Oh, shit. Shoot, dude. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, my God. I do not like any option that I am presented with right now. This is like... Hoping that it... Oh, no. That was a good move. 
Wild charge. Oh, Karai, you better not kill me. Oh my god! No! Stop, 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 stop. That did way too much damage. Holy crap. Um... This is not even the gym leader, and I'm having, like, the biggest... Team... Like, my structural integrity on this team is being questioned. And I don't know how I feel about that. Obviously, I don't really feel that great about it, because... We're not even at the gym leader, and the gym leader is going to have level 55s, but still, it's just like, oh my god, what am I supposed to do? Like, okay, that thing's got wild charge. I don't have a ground type, so that's bad. Um, The other mod I have is specially defensive, which is bad as well. Wall rain can't take the hit. I did not realize how much a Luxray could actually deep dive right through my team. Um, and a crit will kill the Moltres. Honestly, I'm kind of hoping you switch. Oh, God. Do not Earthquake me. Okay, Fusion, fusion Bolt. The fact that you... Okay, I'm glad that Fusion Bolt does not do enough to really warrant a scare. I'm going to heal blue. And I say I'm going to heal blue because, like, last time you just flip-flopped into... No, you're going to pro play me. You're going to Earthquake this turn, aren't you? you? Okay, good. You actually might have a choice banded Garchomp. I could see it. Oh, fantastic. We love crits. Um, I still feel like my best option is this way. To, to like, stay in. Um... Holy crap. This exemplifies the problem that I've got right now. Because I could have chosen this triple battle. And I still feel like I chose the safer battle of the two. But, like, if this right now is classified as the safer battle, like, wow. Like, this tells you how much of a threat some of these things are. Luckily, we did get rid of that. And blue should be able to kind of take on the rest of this. As Sacred Sword should blow up the wall rain. As I'm so glad I have health. Because I wouldn't be able to take that otherwise. I was going to say, wall rain. It's thick. Wow. Okay. Oh my god, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. Dude, Aqua Jet plus crit. That would be the way. That would be the wave. Okay. No. <laughs> Garchomp's gone. Okay, we're good. We didn't lose a Mon, but that was a little bit tricky. We navigated that the way we had to, though. Luckily, we did that. As we're going to go ahead and Sacred Sword. Because we know a crit doesn't kill, so. Oof. Just like, again, those are those moments that you just don't want to have to worry about anything. But, unfortunately... Those moments just never exist. Okay, now we can actually go ahead and fight the gym leader. Bro, this episode is already off its knocker. Or off its rocker. Off its knocker? What was that supposed to be? I don't know. I just said it. Um. Anyway, off its rocker. And like I said, being... That it does decide it wants to be this way. It's just like... Ooh. It's a very... What do we decide to do? What is going to happen? As we are fighting... Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. We're going to lead... Honestly, leading Milotic sounds like the best play. It's our bulkiest option, and it's got the choice specs. And if a stupid Caracosa decides it wants to come out, we got plans for that, too. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for coming to the Opelucid City Gym. I am the gym leader, Drayden. And as the mayor, I have given everything to developing this city. As a trainer, I have simply been pursuing the greatest strength. But now, I'm searching for... or But what I'm searching for now is a young trainer who can show me the bright future. Perhaps you can show me that future the way Iris has. Oh, yeah. Definitely we will show you the exact future that Iris has showed you. 
Because, you know, you're not going to throw out some legendary right now. Because, you know, might as well not. Oh! What, what did I just say? I said don't throw out a legendary right now. And why do you throw out a Dialga? Great. This is the best thing ever. Because we literally have nothing for it. Um, shoot. <laughs> um, okay. Dream can't do anything. I think the best play is actually to go into blue. Which naturally we had leading before the battle. But, you know... Why not? We could have just stayed in and predicted the situation, but... Bro, this dialogue has close combat. Um... There's nothing I can do with that. There's absolutely nothing I can do with that, because... Yeah, Lucario's faster, but a crit kills... I am going to have to swap into Dream and hope that it doesn't have anything good. Luckily, it is a Steel Dragon type, so its new fire type attacks are neutral as it hopefully close combats me again. Okay. It's at minus two. This should do like 30. They did actually literally almost 30. Um, that's kind of funny. I predicted that exactly. Um, I'm going to blue flare this thing, though, and hope that at minus two, this does more than half. I would, I'm expecting like 75%. That's what I'm expecting. I'm not expecting huge numbers, but I am expecting like 75%. Oh, damn. That was a one shot. Okay. Not what I was expecting at all, but we'll take it. Kevin's level 55 now. We take that. The next one is an Armaldo. So we have to get out of that scenario real quick. We're going to go into Kevin and just freaking, uh, what's that move that I'm thinking of right now in my head? It's Water Spout. That's 150 base power. Stab. Plus the choice specs, we should be fine. This should hopefully be level 52 because I don't, I didn't really want that to be the ace. Even though, you know, I could have taken it out and actually probably should have hoped that it was the ace because I could take that out easily. But I didn't, whatever. And the last and final mon is going to be a wheezing. Beegers gets to have his time to shine. That's a mon for Beegers right there. Let's go! Gym! Seven! Done! Let's... We'll take that. I mean, I shouldn't count my eggs before they hatch. That's actually the saying! Oh, yeah, that's right. I knew he was going to be level 55. I actually got the saying correct. Go me. We're going to extra sensory. This is not going to kill because Weezing is specially bulky. But still, it might do like 40% to 50%. Oh, my God. It's crit. Let's go! Big earns! Getting that crit, ending this game, way easier. That crit won 100% mattered. Let's go! That's a way. That took... Beers was like, don't you dare test me again. Because I'll come through. We got Drayden's badge, the legend badge. And that, my friends, is after this cutscene, a way to end the episode. Uh, we gotta get to Pokemon Center, though, because I don't feel safe being here. Sweet set. Great. Thanks for giving me... I mean, I deserve a terrible TM, let's be honest. I really should not have actually had that little of an issue. But, hey, I'm not complaining about not having an issue at all, as I literally... that literally makes you go down and down and down again. I really... Sometimes, these gyms, with these terrible exit strategies, it's like, what if the gym went on fire? <laughs> Oh my god, I'm thinking so bad. It's like, what if the gym actually went on fire? Like, you can't just go down. You could have, but like, half these gyms have warp panels. Like, in Generation 1, you had a warp panel so you could get away from the fire. But like, in Generation 5, nope, can't have that. <laughs> Gotta make people not want to go to the gyms. Uh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. Wait, what am I following him to? Crap. There, there was something I missed in the dialogue supposed to follow him somewhere i was kind of casually hoping that i didn't have to worry about anything but apparently that's barely that's a lie we gotta oh okay we're just gonna talk about the legendary pokemon i'm not surprised oh my god okay yeah i they split into Kiram. Uh-oh.
Story development. <laughs> oh no. I see <laughs> at least I knew a cousin was coming. Uh Oh I'm probably gonna get copyrighted for this one, whatever. Oh, okay. Uh, what is happening right now? I forgot this part entirely. <laughs> That's enough, Haxorus. I can just casually have a level 48 Haxorus. That's okay. Oh. I remember you from End's Castle two years ago. It's bitter cold. I'm shivering. I'm suffering. But I'm alive. It was the essence of life. It's what the essence of life feels like. It's proof of my existence. But that's enough of philosophy. Here are the facts of your abandonment. This ice was specially created by plasma technology. As long as we have our secret weapon, you'll never be able to melt the ice. Let me explain the purpose here. We need to get the DNA from the Pokemon, and Opelous City is where the past and the future are intertwined. Could there be a more perfect place for the splicers that can connect to the separated Pokemon? Do you think? Who knows what you did two years ago? Uh, we'll just hand them over quietly. Humph! This is what I thought you'd say. At this point, I'd like to threaten you with another volley of ice, but we can't at the moment. <sighs> it won't be enjoyable in this cold, but I guess we'll have to search them. <laughs> Those fell villains. John, I want you to help me. You're going to drive Team Plasma out of Opelousa City. I love how, like, he tried to, like, Oh, does it even let me go to the Pokemon Center? Okay, it does. Okay, awesome. So, in the next episode of the Pokemon Black, or I always call it Pokemon Black, in the Pokemon White 2, Randomized Nuzlocke, we will be taking on Team Plasma. Good job. But we got the 7th Gym Badge out of the way, so that's positive. See you guys then.